Would you like to create the best deck possible on your brand new Pokemon TCG Live Global Beta account? Would I? Would you? Would I? Would you? Would I? Well, then you've come to the right video. In this episode, I'll guide you through building a deck only using the cards given to you at the very beginning of the game. This will be a super simple process and you will have a great deck for learning the game, grinding for more cards, and winning a lot along the way. Personally, I won 9 out of my 10 first games in ranked mode with this exact deck, and you can do the same. If you have any questions throughout the video, please leave it in the comments down below. And additionally, you can join my Discord for a great Pokemon TCG Discord community. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload Pokemon TCG videos every single day. Now that you've logged in, completed the tutorial, and collected your welcome rewards, let's create a deck for the standard format. Pokemon TCG Live gives you some pretty powerful cards just for logging into the global beta right now. You'll get two Lugia V, two Lugia V Star, and two Archeops. These are all powerful new cards from Silver Tempest, and this will be the focus of our deck. Lugia V-Star has an attack that will do 220 damage, and more importantly, a V-Star power ability Summoning Star that will allow us to put two Archeops straight from the discard pile onto our bench to start using Primal Turbo to power up our Pokemon. We'll include some common staple trainer cards like Quick Ball, Evolution Incense, Ultra Ball, Professor's Research, Marnie, and Boss's Orders. These are all generally powerful cards that you'll see in a lot of decks, and that's no exception here. One thing we don't have for Lugia V-Star is a good stadium card that fits the deck, so we'll just be using Pumpkaboo, which can remove a stadium card from play. We'll also add in Dunsparce, which will remove our colorless Pokemon's weaknesses, Orangaroo with Primate Wisdom that can put a card from our hand back on top of our deck, which is great for putting energies back into our deck. Chinchino with the Make Do ability to discard cards and draw cards. Crobat V for some extra draw power. And Blissey V as a secondary attacker, since we do only have a 2 2 line of the Lugia V Star. We're going to toss in a bunch of special energies because Archeops can only accelerate special energies from the deck into play, so we'll want special energies to be the only kind of energies in our deck. So we'll use whatever we can here from our beginning collection. You'll find the export of this deck list in the description down below, and you can import this directly into your PTCG Live deck manager, so you won't have to go through building the deck. I've already done that for you. You'll have all of these cards after logging into the game and collecting your welcome rewards. So all you'll have to do is import this deck list and you'll be ready to go. I've already tested this deck out for you and we'll be looking at some of my gameplay from my first 10 games in Ranked, where I did have a record of 9 wins and 1 loss for a 90% win rate with this exact deck. Hopefully you'll notice right away that this deck is going to be more consistent, cohesive, aggressive, and overall more powerful than most of the beginner decks you're going to come up against early on in Ranked. The beginning strategies for this deck is going to be to get Archeops into the discard pile and get your board set up with a couple Minchinos and Lugia Vs. The Minchinos evolve into Chinchinos, which will help you draw more cards throughout the game. And the Lugia V, of course, evolves into Lugia V Star, which is going to not only get your Archeops onto the board, but is also going to be a very powerful attacker with high HP. In this game, we're playing against the Zacian Zamazenta deck, which is a free deck you get pre-built for you on Pokemon TCG Live, and I'm sure you'll see a lot of these free pre-built decks in ranked mode. Our deck will typically be able to handle these very, very well. A quick reminder that you can find this exact deck list below in the description, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Our opponent is going to take a pretty lackluster turn here, and we're going to want to get our Lugia V-Star evolved and start getting our Archeopses into play as soon as possible so we can accelerate energy onto our board and start running through these Zamazenta and Zacian V Pokemon, taking two prize cards for each of those that we knock out. Here we get the Lugia V-Star with Evolution Incense, 
and attach powerful colorless energy to it. That powerful colorless energy is very strong. Our colorless Pokemon it's attached to does 20 more damage and that ability does stack. Here we get to make do to discard an Archeops and then Summoning Star both of our Archeopses onto the board and we can use both of their Primal Turbos every single turn as long as we have enough special energies in the deck. So we are going to use both of the Primal Turbos this turn to power up our Lugia and Lugia is going to be doing a lot of damage here, knocking out this Zamazen to V in just a moment. And that is a pretty perfect board for us. We have two Archeops, we have the Guru, we have Blissey V as a backup attacker, we have Chinchino to draw some cards, and Lugia V stars out in the active, wreaking havoc now. I ended up winning this match and I actually won the next eight games for a total of nine wins in a row. Playing against a bunch of different kinds of decks, we hit Blissey decks, uh, Rapid Strike Malamar, we saw even a Giratina V-Star Comfy deck that is not a pre-built deck. Uh, that was definitely a, like a custom-built deck using credits and everything. Uh, we saw a Lucario V-Star Arceus V-Star deck. Uh, beat all of those with this 60 card deck list that I've shared with you all today. Ultimately, we lost to a deck that was pretty similar to mine. Uh, we lost to a Lugia V-Star Blissey V deck. They were able to accelerate more energy faster and also conserve their energies based on the way they were able to order their attacks and bosses up my Pokemon and stuff. So we did ultimately end with a nine and one record. I was so close. I was within two prize cards away from a 10 and zero record with this deck. But let me know how you all perform with this deck in the ranked mode if you try it out. As the first episode of my Pokemon TCG live progression series comes to an end, I hope this was able to help you build a deck and start getting some wins in ranked mode with a completely free and simple to build deck that you can play on desktop, mobile devices, and even tablets. In the next episode, I will start upgrading this Lugia V-Star deck using the currencies and rewards that I got from the beginning of my ranked journey. So as long as you rack up around 9 or 10 wins or so, you'll be on par to begin upgrading with me in the next video. You're not going to want to miss that, so make sure you subscribe to this channel for daily Pokemon TCG content and leave a like and a comment to help even more players like yourself begin their Pokemon TCG live journey with today's video. Thanks so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.